Welcome back to my build of a, a Piper Cherokee, um, a kit that I got from DB Sports and Scale in the UK. Um, today I'm tackling the, the tailplane and this is the first part of the build that you actually do over the plans. The fuselage, the wings, you just free build. Um, so it's a bit more interesting, a bit, bit different. Um, I've also I've got the plans on a piece of foam, a uh, thick dense foam that I can pin into that's flat. Um, and I've got some plastic um, covering the plans. Hopefully I've set the camera up so there's not too much glare. Um, for you guys anyway, it's a bit of glare for me. But anyway, that'll be fine. Um, as I've done previously, I've just dry mounted everything, just made sure I know where everything's going. Um, and with this, you the, the leading edge here um, and the trailing edge is actually supported by these um, wingtip fillets um, just for the first part of the build because the, uh, the ribs are, are curved um, so we don't want it sort of rocking about um, and then once all that's set we'll take out these fillets and, and put them on the ends of the wings. So I'll get on and build this now and see how it goes. Okay, I've been working quite a bit on the tailplane, um, trying to get this finished. Um, I've now sheeted it. It's um, it's still uh, the sheeting's still fairly rough, needs to be trimmed, either edge um, and sanded. I've also um, I put one of the holes, which is a locating hole for the fin, but I need to cut a similar hole on uh, on this side. I'll probably just stick pins through here. To locate the four corners and then cut it out. Um, got some fairly serious sanding to do to take this down to a, a nice profile um, and again on the on the very ends themselves but this is looking nice starting to take shape. Um, a bit of advice if you're doing anything similar uh, and I'm talking from experience um, there is a right way up with this. Um, this is the top this is the bottom. Um, at this point in the construction there is nothing to tell me because the arrows are on the ribs which I've just covered up. Um, I have got a B and a T in the section, B for bottom, T for top. Um, but I almost had a problem um, and didn't know which way up uh, the tail was. So I'm going to spend a good few hours now probably just shaping this uh, slowly but surely. Um, to get it to a nice, uh, a nice aerofoil shape um, and a nice, um, a nice angle on the ends. So we'll see how that goes. really pleased with the tips of these wings um, they seem to have come out quite nicely um, it's quite rewarding to get them to such a you know a nice a nice aerofoil shape so I'm pleased with that 
Okay, well, I'm going to start building the, uh, the tail plane now. Um, and again, like the tail fin, this is uh, one of the few pieces which is actually pinned down over the plans. Um, the first stage is to um, get these four pieces that make up the main frame of the tail fin, um, to get them glued and pinned down. And then, because of these slots, the ribs can be fitted in uh, between the frame. Uh, one thing I did have to do, uh, which I'm not overly happy about, um, the, the laser cut on these, on these thicker pieces um, isn't very straight. It's at an angle, and so the joints are crooked. Um, and if you don't have them crooked, um, then they're only on a very small edge of the balsa. So what I've done is I've just had to take a little bit off the side of that um, and the same on the corresponding piece that it, it meets here to actually get a square joint. If not, it's, it's kicked over crooked. Um, I did, I think I've mentioned this before, I did contact the manufacturer about this um, because I wasn't happy at, at some of the laser cuts on, on the thicker stuff and kind of the response I got was, well, that's kind of how it is. Um, but you can see on this piece um, how it looks. Um, I think that's, I don't know whether you can see that, you can see the angles um, there showing up. And you know, it's not a lot, um, but when you've got thick pieces of balsa um, and uh, you know, you want to get a nice square joint, it does make a difference. Um, I particularly noticed that on the, on, on the wings. Um, and of course, if you trim them up like this, then you're going to end up with pieces very marginally shorter. Um, and I did find that on the, uh, on the sub aileron bay, uh, um, on the aileron bay with the sub leading edge uh, when I was doing the main wings. But anyway, moving on from, from that, I'll get on and uh, start to glue this now and pin it down. And then when this is dry tomorrow, I can add in the ribs. Okay, well the, the basic shape of the, uh, the tail plane has dried, the basic uh, framework and now I just need to um, slip on these ribs and uh, uh, a kind of a basal uh, rib here. Um, this is quite nicely uh, notched out so that um, these can be slipped in. Uh, try that. Yep, yeah, so, and that's quite nice. There's a little bit of a kick on them, but I'll need to just straighten them up as I glue them in, uh, due to the angle of the, uh, of the cuts. But what I'll do is I'll get on and, and do that now, and then when that's dry, I can, uh, I can do the shooting, which will be quite nice. See that start to take shape, and um, get it sanded up, uh, same as the tail plane. Uh, which is, is, I find it a very rewarding job. So, okay then, let's get on and do this. Okay, well the tail fin is almost finished now. Um, it's sheeted, that all, that's all gone on quite nicely. Um, the back uh, for the, um, the, the rudder bay uh, stays square. I put on a, um, a shape onto the front just to give that a, a nice aerofoil. Um, what I need to do is I still need to, to sand and taper off the top of the fin um, and so, so that it's the same profile as the control surface and then I need to cut these to shape um, and that will be ready to mount then. I, uh, I still need to cut the hinges. Uh, I think looking at the plans there's three hinges on this so um, uh, and I'm using mylar uh, for the hinges um, so that'll be quite nice. That's uh, almost almost finished now.